Hey everybody, Massfin and A4, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Ash. Last time we took on the Saffron City Gym, and we kinda... dumpstered Sabrina. However, she was like, You're not good enough to get a badge from me. Go to the Pokemon Tower, complete it, then I'll try hard. That should be against the rules. Now, speaking against the rules, isn't it crazy how in Season 1 of the anime, how there's a gym leader, you know, an official gym leader running around turning people into dolls, and nobody's saying anything about it. <laughs> kind of weird. But yeah, we're making our way to Saffron City. There's a Pokemon in particular we might run into here. Alright, sorry about that. We don't get many visitors here. Hmm, I wonder why. Mr. Mom could teleport you. I do not see Saffron City in the options. It's really weird. Pretty sure to heal the yeah, did. Alright, let's get into the Pokemon Tower after we talk to everyone. Ghost appeared in Pokemon Tower. Volunteer House. This town is known as a grave site for Pokemon. Memorial services are held in Pokemon Tower. Search for items that raise the stats of Pokemon. They're effective over the course of a single battle. Next attack is defendants. Yeah, I haven't seen those recently. Sometimes a train and duel will challenge you with two Pokemon at the same time. That's kind of unfair for a 2v1. So why can't it be one person just doing a 2v2? Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Really? So there are believers. Haha, I guess not. I weigh hand on your shoulder and just imagine it. I see, there's no pathway up north. Let's head into the tower. to pray for my dearly departed Clefairy. You come to pay respects? Bless your Pokemon loving heart. Uh, to be honest, we came in here because we need our gym badge. My girl, why did you die? I can't stop worrying about everything that happened here. Wanna learn worry scene? What's, what's worry scene? I, re I recognize the name, I just don't know what it does. 
A seed that causes worry is planted in the foe, prevents sleep, and making its stability insomnia. That's... that's like... Omega Niche. <coughs> hey, Pokemon Tower is erected in the memory of the Pokemon that died. Interesting wording you have there? I'm a channeler. There are spirits up to mischief I sense up high in the tower. Then it looks like we gotta stop him. Okay, the second I see a wild battle in here, I'm turning on the repel. Be careful, the upstairs is haunted. What are you doing here? Escape all you can. Should I? I don't know. Repels are tend to get turned on. <coughs> Do you have a cursed body? Get away. Of course not. Dude, I don't know why my OBS does that. I apologize. <clears throat> Good thing I was looking, looking at it. I must have like pressed something by accident. Thief attack. Now the question is, will this game mix us up and give us some other ghost types? From not Gen 1? Probably not. Escape rope. You can use that to get out of any dungeon of your choosing. Without having to run back. <clears throat> Dang it. Help me find the ghost. Don't you have one already? Ghostly. Alright, Pidgeotto will finish the rest of them. Sucker Punch do be in- That works?! That works?! Whatever, I'll just finish you off. More you know. We're just gonna have Pidgeotto out. Of 
great ball. Yeah, so I'd love to use another one. <coughs> Who goes there? Thief attack, let's go! I'm sick of your sucker punches, stop! HP up? Ooh! Elixir! We're gonna, we're gonna be hoarding these. Elixirs, it re restores all the PP of a Pokemon. Every move. I was wondering we're gonna run into ethers and Elixirs and all that jazz. One thing that annoys me is that in Pokemon games, you can't really buy them. Maybe in Gen 9, but I haven't played Gen 9 or haven't really paid much attention to it. But in games prior, you can't buy ethers and all that jazz. The only thing that you can really manipulate or take advantage of are Aleppo berries, because you can plant berries and harvest them. We're already on floor 5? That's crazy. I'm not giving you anything! Thief attack! So, I guess this is a good opportunity for me to talk about <clears throat> Hyper training. So, not every Pokemon is the exact same. Remember what? Which one? Which Pokemon was I making fun of for taking hits? Yeah, capable of taking hits and like minus defense nature. So there are hidden values that Game Freak thought was a fantastic idea to do. Uh. In the grand scheme, officially, it's called Hyper Training. However, the community will call these EVs and IVs. Effort Values and... What's IVs again? Individual Values? I guess IVs? I should know this. Let me eat a freaking video, but what the heck. Whatever. But anyways... A Pokemon can have a maximum of... How many? Is it 512? I can math this right now. Let me put on my calculator. 252 times 2. And then what was it? 8 or 4? <clears throat> okay, whatever. Well, you have, uh, I think it's 500, it's either 510 EVs or 508 EVs that you can have on a Pokemon a single time. And you can max out a single. EV category by attack, defense, special attack, special defense, or speed. I think for HP, it's, you can't go to 252. I think this is something stupid like 248. I don't remember. It's been forever since I EV trained, and screw it, to be honest. So, anytime you beat a Pokemon in single player, <clears throat> the Pokemon that you've beaten will give you a an EV value, an effort value. Ranging from one to three. It could be just one in particular or a couple. So as you can see, my Pidgeotto's EVs, it says 23. Okay, so normally this can I Okay, I can't really, you know, specifically I'm um, fire em emblem engage brain rot, sorry. But anyways, under the IV column right there, it says 13, 6, 13, 25, 4. We got 13 EVs in attack, 6 in defense, 13 in Special attack, 25 in special defense, 4 in speed. That's based on the wild Pokemon and trainer Pokemon that we've defeated, and they give us those values. The game will keep track of it, but it won't tell you. Thankfully, this this uh, fan game here, it's keeping track of IVs and e I'm an idiot. Those are IVs on the middle. On the right side are the EVs. The EVs are 11 that we got, 8, 23, 5, 16. And 10 HP EVs. So, those are what we get when we defeat Pokemon. 
IVs, those are predetermined. Those are even worse. Um, I'm not going to go into that rabbit hole too much, but basically, the word strong willed means that my Pidgeotto is strong in a particular IV stat. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of those stats. It's really dumb how Game Freak like hid that stat when they keep track when they keep track of it. It's pretty it's pretty annoying. Especially when you want to make competitive Pokemon teams, because come child, purify this place to rest. Oh yo! Pog! Cleanse tag. I'll look at that later. Yeah, he's another. That girl didn't see me. So when you beat a Pokemon game, right, and you want to use your main team for multiplayer, you're at a disadvantage because your EVs are all over the place. There's a there's Pokemon that can take advantage. <coughs> excuse me. There's Pokemon that can take advantage of spread out EVs, depending on what type of build you want to make. However, most of the time you want to min max your EVs, right? So let's say I want a physical Charizard, right? Or, or um, a special attack in Pikachu. I would max out EVs on special attack and then max out on speed because Pikachu's already frail enough. Juicing it up with defensive EVs won't really matter. So I just want to maximize attack. So when somebody somebody's getting switched in or I have priority, they're getting chunked, you know? And then the remaining four EVs, I think it's four, so 252 times two plus four. I could be wrong, whatever. And then the remaining four, you just throw them some random stat, like, I don't know, defense, HP, <laughs> special defense. Four EVs equals one point in a stat, basically. And IVs are just stupid. Because, like, Game Freak, they, they made it this way so that every Pokemon is, is different. So everybody doesn't have the exact same Pokemon. But if you think about it from a competitive point of view, everybody's going to pick the most optimal choice. Which will lead to speed ties, which leads to more RNG shenanigans in these Pokemon games. At the end of the day, EVs and IVs don't really matter in single player, right? Because it's just single player, it's Pokemon, right? However, they would matter more if you were doing some type of Battle Frontier post-game content. When you're trying to get stuff, and then multiplayer PvP. Aside from that, it's pretty pointless. But yeah. Removing EVs are a big pain in the neck too, you have to give them berries to eat, and they'll like, lower their EVs by 10, so you have to farm a lot of those in other games. I'm gonna swap up Pidgeotto, Pidgeotto's taking a licking. Ja. So it makes legitimately creating competitive teams without using any sorts of hacks or genning, like the Pokemon community likes to say. It makes it a whole lot more annoying. Which is why these games get hacked all the time. Oh jeez, we're getting... we're getting... we're catching the hands! Again, I have not played Gen 9 yet, but I believe in Gen <clears throat> in Gen 8, they got rid of the... I'm trying to remember if they got rid of uh, the maximum amount, because it used to be a time... I got an HP up, right? Let's say I had 11 HP ups, I want to use it on my Squirtle. My Squirtle would only be able to eat 10, so he'd only get 100 EVs, and for some reason, the game won't let you feed your Pokemon any more than 10, which makes- so let's say you have an infinite money, and you could just buy all these EV vitamins. You can't even max them out with it, because the game says no. So it was just- it's just crazy how popular this IP is, Pokemon, and Game Freak are making these brain-dead decisions that makes everybody's life harder, and I don't find- I don't think anybody finds this fun. Because if people did find it fun, there wouldn't be whatever hacking things people do nowadays. However, Recently, they've been making they've been making it easier to get into competitive battling because I think in Gen 7 or Gen 8, they introduced rental teams. 
So, let's say there's one guy who gen like 50 different teams. At least he can share his ID and let other people practice with those teams. Because one of my biggest complaints about the stupid EV system, IV system, is you're spending hours upon hours trying to build a team and you don't even get a chance to use them properly because you're not at their maximum potential. So a lot of times wasting on stupid, uh, making Pokemon have, uh, uh, like, nut into each other, dude. It's crazy. And I'm running around in circles like an idiot. But yeah, rental teams are pretty cool, so now people can actually practice or try out teams uh, from other people, which makes uh, getting reps in with a team a whole lot easier. But at the end of the day, though, nothing will beat Pokemon Showdown. <laughs> The fact Pokemon Showdown is still up to these days is it's crazy to me. It's either it's either um, Nintendo slash the Pokemon Company slash Game Freak. They're just letting it rock because they realize it's a lot easier for competitive players to just go practice there. I, I don't know. I really don't know. Anyways, that's EV IV tr explanation. It wasn't the best explanation. Just kind of brought it up on the spot. It's whatever. It's just... I hope they don't ever do this ever again. <laughs> it's like the issue with, with friendship values. Uh, the friendship... They keep track of friendship too, but it's hidden as well. Because at that point, if that logic, if you're just going to hide those values, what's the point of showing me my HP bar? Just give me a green bar, don't give me the numbers. <laughs> you just have, like... You see my, my stats? Just hide them all! Who cares? <laughs> uh, I, I hate fighting all these ghastlies, dude. I need a, I, I need Butterfree! Butterfree, come back! We need a Psychic-type move or a Dark-type move. I mean, we do have some Dark-type moves, but it's annoying. Help! They're cursing me and stuff. My hair is gone. Is it now? I can see it on your head. Ghastly! Ghastly! Thief attack. At least a lot of these trainers have one Pokemon. Rare candy, we'll keep that in our back pocket. Oh. Do I smell a battle incoming? You are quite brave for a child, but this will have you running in no time. What? Karina Cubum? Gengar! Oh, shoot! Okay, we got ourselves quite the opponent. Never mind. Fudge! Protect! So you do have Cursed Body. Uh, what's wrong with me? What's wrong? I press, I press Stomp out of... No, I press Stomp out of, um... <laughs> Have it. Right, we're fine now. Gone. Genga. Did I just lose? Yes, you did. I know I'm no longer possessed. Thank you. Oh, you came here to challenge Sabrina. This might help you then. Shadow Punch. TM21 contains Shadow Punch. It never misses. I know I'm jumping the gun a lot. But do you guys remember... No Haunter, huh? I'm going to use one more just in case. I want to see what happens. Where's Haunter? Hmm. We're just going to escape rope out of here. I know I'm jumping the gun here. But anyways, um, in the battle frontier, the first time I... I can't use that here. What do you mean? This is a dungeon. That's so annoying. Yeah, let's run back. Brandon has a Dusclops 
And he was using Shadow Punch. Shadow Punch in the anime is busted, dude. See how big that fist was? Hell. We're almost out of here. Yeah, let's use another one. Okay. Uh, we did the Pokemon Tower. However, no sign of Haunter. So, I guess we'll just go make our way to the gym in this episode. Screw it, you know? Can anybody learn Shadow Punch? I doubt it. <gasps> Squirtle can! Oh, snap! That's weak, though. That's weak AF. But I'm never gonna use Skull Bash. <clears throat> I'm never gonna use it. Alright, let's make our way back to the gym. Da -na -na. Now, who do I use the HP up on? I'll probably just hoard these. I'll hoard these until um, late game, I guess. Teleport me to Saffron! Get out of my way, lady! What the f- If it's a 2v2 fight, we'll put in Squirtle, I guess. Squirtle Pikachu? Na 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 Really, only those four towns. I will give Squirtle the Everstone. Not the Everstone, Eviolite. Oh shoot, who has it? You have it. I'll give you the big glasses, black glasses. There we are! Alright gang, you ready? So, you came back. I thought you might. Well, let's see if you've gotten any stronger, shall we? This is messed up, bro. I can only pick one Pokemon. Dude. Okay. I choose Pikachu! Ash versus Sabrina. Kadabla! Pikachu! Use return! Oh, it's faster. Oh, fudge. We win the. <laughs> Let's go! 
feel wonderful after that battle. You did amazing. You've done well. I admit that you're a talented and strong trainer. Here, you're in the Marsh Badge. We got a Marsh Badge! Here, have this TM too. Calm Mind. Oh, we love those. TM-04 contains Calm Mind and raises the defenses of a Pokemon. Not true. Raises special attack and special defense of a Pokemon. What is this misinformation? Can Kindler learn Bulk Up? I don't think anybody here can learn it. Yeah. Well, gamers, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> but we did it! We managed to defeat Sabrina! So, next time on Pokemon Fire Ash... We're leaving Saffron City? I don't know where we're going, to be honest. Because Kanto's... Kanto kind of... Um, segregates... It, not segregate, that's not the right word. It branches out. There's multiple ways to go in the Red, Blue, and Yellow games. However, north of Lavender Town didn't have any routes. So, Rock Tunnel? I have no idea where that is. Thank goodness, to be honest. What a trash dungeon. But, we'll see where the routes take us. Maybe we'll get to Solidon City? I'm guessing that's our next destination. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and sayonara.